Hello, I'm Bonnie Hollow from Arclight Technologies. This video is part of a series of videos based on mapping North Spoke data mining for the masses, published by Global Text Press, copyright 2012, and available for 39 US dollars and then 99 cents from Amazon.com. This video is made with permission from Matthew North. Rapid Miner is a text and data mining tool that regularly appears at the tops of surveys as the leading open source tool for those applications. It's available on the web at rapideye.com. I have brief five to six minute videos on how to install Rapid Miner, run the online tutorials, add extensions on my YouTube channel. Search YouTube for ArcLight, A R C L I G H T Technologies, and you'll find my videos. Each chapter in Data Mining for the Masses shows an example data mining process on a sample set. This is Chapter 10 Decision Trees. Part of what's uh, done in this chapter uses work by Everett Rogers from the 1960s on diffusion of innovations. Uh, this work showed that there are a number of people who are innovators and then there are early uh, adopters that will buy new technologies pretty quickly after they become available. Then there's an early majority and a late majority set and finally laggards, people who adopt a technology. Um, after most other people already have. That ter terminology will be used in this example. I have already loaded in the data sets for Chapter 10, and there's both a training and a scoring data set. So let's take a peek at how those look. In addition to using these data, I'm going to set role operator. So I will add that right after I add the training set. Another set roll operator over here and then we'll connect these together. And in this first set roll, what I want to do is use the user ID as the ID. And in the second one, what I want to do is use the e-reader adoption as the label. So what I'm trying to do is predict how people would adopt e-readers. Uh, and so I have this training set that shows how they have adopted it in the past. So if we run it quickly and take a look at the data, we can see what's in here. Uh, the user ID and e-reader adoption rate is listed for a number of different people who bought uh, technology off a website that is a internet store and for these people we know information about them like their gender and their age and their marital status but we also know other things about them like uh, whether they have regular or seldom website activity whether they have bought electronics in the last 12 months from us whether they have bought uh, it looks like the same thing, isn't it? How is it different? Let's go. Oh, they've browsed electronics or bought electronics in the last 12 months. And then we know if they have bought digital media in the last 18 months, and if they've bought digital books ever, and then we also know their payment method that they used. Now, as you recall, I specified e-reader adoption as the label role so that we know that that's what we're trying to predict, is whether people will have, uh, what kind of an e-reader adopter they will be. So if I go back to my design perspective, and I bring in the other set of data, and I'm going to test this on. I'm also going to want to put a set roll here. And for right now, I'll just quickly this up as an output so we can take a peek at it. Again, the role on this set is the user ID, the user identifier. So now if I go ahead and run this, and I look at that second set of data, I see that I have all of the um, attributes, website activity, marital status, age, gender, user ID, uh, whether they've browsed or bought electronics, bought digital books, etc but I don't have e-reader adoption. So this is the set of users for whom we want to predict what kind of adopters they will be for. Going back to my design perspective, I'm going to use a class, uh, a decision tree. Uh, 
learner to fly to Vista. I'm just going to disconnect this for a minute. Uh, so now it will go ahead and it will build the decision tree based on the training data. And then let's go ahead and see what that looks like. In the decision tree, what it says is if their website activity is frequent or regular, it's a good predictor of whether they're going to be an innovator or an early adopter, and it shows what percentage, roughly, uh, members of each of these categories appeared. If they had seldom website activity, uh, but they bought digital books, then that predicts that they're going to be an early adopter of ebooks. But if they haven't bought digital books, then the question to ask is what's their age? If they are um, under 25, then they're probably late majority. And if they are, sorry, if they're over 25, they're late majority. If they're under 25 or equal to 25, then they're probably early majority. So you can sort of see how it splits up among all the members of that category. So now we have our input data that's trained in the decision tree. We have the uh, test data that we want to test it out at. So the last thing that we have to build in here is an apply model operator. And we go ahead and apply that model to the test data or the scoring data. So well, here's apply model. I'll just put it down here. And I'm going to need the model out of the decision tree, so I have to put that in there. And then this is my training data that's going to come in. And then I want to get both outputs. So I'll set both of those up. I'm going to stand here so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, with my small screen, I'm sorry, it's a little crowded. There's overlap of lines here, but I think you'll be able to see what's going on. So now I'll run it. And now we see that in this example set, which was the scoring set, where we didn't have a prediction before, now we have one. And for each individual, we predict that they're going to be, for instance, in this case, a late majority person. And the reason is the confidence for a late majority is the highest for this person. In this one, the confidence for this must be early adopter here. Early adopter is the highest. So there's a probability that they will fall into any one of these four categories. And the one with the highest probability is the one that appears as the prediction. We go down here to example number 10. This person is an early majority person, and that confidence is very high, 0.889. And the model is predicting there's zero chance that they will be an early adopter. So it's interesting to see those different variations. I hope I see you on other videos, and I hope you're enjoying using the app in Thanks for watching.